Hi, it's Rachel from Team Forget Me Nots. Now because this was a makeover challenge and I didn't actually have a spare cabinet door myself, I found this single cabinet door left over on Facebook from someone who had given away their kitchen. So it was perfect timing. And my plan was to turn this into a rustic sign. So to start with, I removed the handle and the hinges so that it would lie nice and flat and be easier to work on. I then gave the whole piece a good wash with white lightning and then rinsed it with some plain water after for a good basis to start from. There was a little bit of texture visible on the cabinet, whether or not it was fake grain I'm not sure. So I used a 220 grit sanding sponge and just lightly went over the surface so that it gave the stain something to grip to. And then to remove the sanding dust I used a slightly sticky tack cloth which just cleans up all of the dust and makes sure that it's a nice clean surface. So to create my rustic look I used a new colour in the no pain gel stain range called American Honey and this has just been launched by Dixie Bell. It's so simple to use, really anybody could do it. So I brushed it on with a foam brush. I then wiped it back with a paper towel. And you can see after a couple of coats how it got its name. It's this really lovely honey colour. To get to the level of darkness that I was hoping for, I did three coats of the stain in total. And they need about six hours in between coats, so it took me a couple of days to get them to the finished stain colour. This was a product I hadn't used before, and it's a wood graining tool. And it's essentially to create a fake wood effect on something that doesn't have that original character drag it through either some paint or some stain and you tilt it as you go and it creates those rings to create a natural wood look. So I chose to use the same gel stain in American Honey to create my grain texture. Now as this was my first time using it, I admit I probably created a few too many of the knots um, than would naturally occur. But I also knew that I was going to be creating both a quote and a transfer on top of this as a background. So I wasn't too worried because it really just was to add a bit of depth. So I chose some words for this sign that were really rather special and that is the secret to a happy life as per my uncle who was filmed for a graduation class video and asked what is the secret to a happy life? And in this video, he said the secret to a happy life, as per his opinion at 91 years old, was to do the things you love with the people you love. And my uncle passed away this month, so I thought it was particularly fitting and commemorate him with this sign. So on to the final creative step. I wanted to add a bit of colour to this sign, and there's nothing more natural than flowers so I chose this Sunflowers transfer. Now the transfer comes across four sheets with slightly different designs for all of the sunflowers. Which is great because it gives you lots of options for doing them across different projects. So I spent a while cutting around the different sunflowers to see what the best combination would be. In the end I chose the two big identical pieces for both sides and then two different sunflowers on the left hand side that lean towards the right and ones on the right hand side that lean towards the left so they naturally gathered around the wording. Transfers are so easy to apply, you use the ruler like tool just to rub at the transfer and you can see the colour change slightly when it has attached to the piece. So you just peel up the plastic and if there's any of the transfer still left on the plastic you can just push it back down again and continue with the ruler. If you'd like to find out any more information about any of the products I've mentioned, I'll link them down below for you.
Then after that's finished, take off the plastic and rub it either with a clean finger or a cloth to make sure that it's fully flattened down on the edges. And then as the very final step to seal both the stain and the transfer, I used two coats of clear coat in flat, which dries invisible so it won't look any different than the final piece without a sealing coat, it just adds that extra bit of protection. I'm really happy with how this sign turned out, from the lovely stain colour to the wood grain effect, the bright sunny sunflowers and of course those really special words. People often ask what I do with my pieces and this one will of course be staying in the family and going to my aunt. Today's project is actually a collaboration with other Dixie Bell bloggers. I'll link their information down below so you can check out their makeovers after. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!